the Nintendo DS. Wait a minute, what the f*** are you talking about? This is the Nintendo 3DS XL, you f***ing zombie. The console's gimmicks had a worldwide appeal, and the game library was just a stellar. And arguably, an underappreciated part of the Nintendo DS's history, it's its original line of commercials, which we'll obviously look at today. Now, the commercials were absolutely abundant, making you know that the Nintendo DS has dual screens and one of them can be used for touchscreen capabilities. Therefore, making that engraved into your mind until the end of time. With this in mind, the first ever commercial for the Nintendo DS did a... Um... A job on showcasing it. It is obvious that this commercial came before the Wii era, back when Nintendo commercials were strange, absurd, or mysterious, which is basically, for a lack of a better word, what this commercial was. I'm watching it out of context. Um, what, what is this? Is this, is this some propaganda? Is this some kind of publicity stunt? Uh, um, what? What the hell? It's a stupid Nintendo thing? There was another version of this commercial which brings home the fact that you can draw something with it. And honestly, I ran out of ideas. It's strange and honestly it reeks of Captain Midnight, but believe me, we're just getting started. The next commercial we're looking at is entitled Breath which is supposed to advertise Picto Chat in the most horrifying way possible. So it's about this man named Eric who goes to a guitar store inside of the hill and writes hello on the window. You know, completely normal stuff, especially when no one is there. And then somebody responds. Oh my God, it is Silent Hill. Oh, how jolly. Doesn't this look safe to you parents? Especially when this unknown person writes in all caps, writes Eric's first name, and don't forget the smiley face. And of course, it wouldn't be a classic Nintendo DS commercial without the tagline, touching is good in the end. Yeah, that's just gold. I'm pretty sure Nintendo of America's marketing team is pretty unaware that the person who came up with the tagline dealt with so much stuff in the past. Did you know that you could play Super Mario 64 DS with the touch screen? Like, everybody uses it, right? I'm lonely. Hell's that? Basically, this comment describes it best. Why the heck did they focus on the mechanic that no one uses instead of focusing on the fact that it's a remake of freaking Super Mario 64? Thank you, Dino 10 dude. This guy from this Metroid Crime Hunters commercial deserves to be an r slash I'm a piece of <laughs> Like, imagine being served that food. This is I want to speak to your manager material right there. Actually, some DS commercials involve making lives harder for the following. The elderly, businessmen, car dealers, garbage collectors, soldiers, racers, and newborns by shooting them off cannons. Living, breathing cannonballs aside, some Nintendo DS commercials actually had some good concepts, like for Super Princess Peach, a mediocre game, they have a princess military training session. Other commercials include a precursor to Zootopia, intimidation in the form of the DS and the 10 dogs being a substitute for teddy bears. But the most infamous commercial has to be the commercial promoting Kirby's Canvas Curse. It has garnered infamy for some reason. I don't know, there's no initial reason for it. Some point fingers at Finger, that's the official name by the way, for kind of looking like a And all I gotta say is, that's absurd, but yeah, I can kind of see why people have their reasons for saying that. Also in this shot, Kirby is risking breaking Finger's back. No, I know you may be thinking, not that I'm a psychic, but I know you may be thinking, but Scout, Kirby lost his legs in Kirby's canvas curse. To that, I, to that I say, well, you're correct, but he could just roll over that hole. It isn't an obstacle either way. But no, nope, he's being disrespectful to his newfound friend. 
What's that? You want more? Okay then. So what did we learn today, kids? Well, I can say a few things. One, if you rub a transparent surface, you may be ruining the lives of many innocent people. Two, Disney may have unintentionally ripped off Nintendo. And three, finger abuse is not laughing matter. And that's all the time I got here today. Follow me on social media and watch my other videos, and I'll see you next time. Bye.